Today's recipe, olive rice and chicken. Let's get started. Okay, so let's start with the spice. I do have a number of spices that I use. Um, please check out my blog if you wanna see the full list. Then I have chicken thighs with the skin on and the bone in. I have cauliflower rice. I have coconut oil. And then I have some chopped onions, garlic, unsalted butter, cilantro. I have olives and some salsa. On the first step, I'm gonna season the chicken thighs. I left the skin on and the bone in. We're gonna just season it with salt because we do not want the other spices to burn while it's cooking. So let me go ahead and show you how I do that. Okay, so here you see me flipping the pieces of chicken thighs and now I'm gonna go ahead and salt this side as well. Okay, so my pan is nicely heated. I added about one tablespoon of coconut oil and now I'm gonna add the chicken pieces, skin side them because we wanna get it nice and crispy. So let me go ahead and do that. Now this will splash a little bit, so please be careful. And if you have a splash guard, go ahead and put it on top at this point so i'm going to let this fry for about five minutes on this side and flip it over and we're going to do about four minutes on that other side okay so i'll link to this in the description box but you want to cover it with a plaster because it will um have some kind of liquid in it that might pop up okay just go ahead and cover it like this and we'll let this cook for five minutes okay so it's been five minutes so let's go ahead and flip this again i'm going to remove this plaster we're going to go ahead and flip it Right? Oh, look at that beautiful color, guys. Okay, let's go ahead, take your time. Flip it. Look at that beautiful golden color. That's what we want. I'm gonna go ahead and flip the other pieces. And then we'll go ahead and let it cook on the other side. For about four minutes. No big deal. This is all gonna go in the oven. Be careful with the skin, guys. We want that beautiful skin to be kept on, okay? Cover it again, and I'll be right back. Okay, so the timer just went off. That means our chicken is done. Not completely done. Don't be fooled, guys. This is not cooked, so please do not eat it from this point, okay? We still have some more cooking to do. Let me go ahead and remove these pieces. Be careful, guys off most of the grease from the pan but I didn't want to lose all those um, flavors from the bits that's on here so I left that there I left about maybe a tablespoon of oil I'm gonna put some unsalted butter in there and we're gonna let that melt and I'm going to go ahead and add my onions these onions and let it cook for about four minutes so they can soften all right, so time four minutes, and I'll be back. All right, guys, so it's been four minutes. I'm going to go ahead and add the garlic. We're going to let that get fragrant. Okay, so it takes about 30 seconds to a minute. And then we are going to add our rice. All right. All right, so we got our rice going. We're gonna go ahead and flavor this rice. I have a um, flavor stock cube. I'm going to sprinkle that over the rice. One cube. That's gonna add some rich flavors. Then I'm gonna add our salsa. I'm gonna go ahead and give that a stir. I have some turmeric and I'm going to add a little sprinkling of turmeric on the rice. Gives it that rich, beautiful color and you're going to mix that in. I love turmeric and it's so healthy for you guys. You should look up 
the health benefits of turmeric really really good spice okay so next I am going to add some of the olives with pimento I'm going to add some cilantro because cilantro makes everything better right now I know some people can't handle cilantro so at this point you can add parsley um, and that will work as well okay so this is our flavored rice I'm going to spread it out a little bit because what I'm going to do is I'm going to add our uh, well, chicken broth at, um, or you can add water and you just pour it in right this is such a flavorful dish I hope you guys try this because it's absolutely delicious now what we're going to do last step is I'm going to just place the chicken pieces back right on the rice right just like so and we're going to stick this in the oven at 350 degrees and this is what it looks like coming right out of the oven it is absolutely delicious the entire recipe will be listed on my website it's lowcarb360.com and as always, I thank you all for watching.